as the Venus retrograde comes to a close and Mercury goes into retrograde, we as a collective have seen very intense range of emotions that have brought back up everything that has made us feel powerless, which triggers us to go into a state of rage and anger. And when we hold and suppress anger within our body, it manifests within physical pain. All of the belief systems that have been passed down to you throughout your ancestral line that no longer serve you, or maybe it's beliefs that you are continuing to practice within your daily life, but that don't feel good to you. It's bringing back up all of these emotions and energies within the collective. And it's allowing you to take a different perspective from a different dimension of consciousness. It's like being able to watch a movie versus actually being an actor within the scene. Because Venus is tied to the Divine Feminine, and this Venus retrograde is about healing the collective Divine Feminine energy that exists within each and every one of us, and with the collective consciousness that we are all tied to. You have to think about everything that the Feminine energy has experienced throughout the course of history, being suppressed and repressed and being held captive and like an object and all of those things. So when you're tapping into these feelings of rage or injustice, feeling like it's not fair, understand where these energies are coming from and that you're not crazy. And that with this new founded awareness, you can have a conscious choice to go to where the roots are within you. So when something or someone is triggering something within inside of you, it has nothing to do with that other person. Because if it was just simply about you not liking that person, it wouldn't cause you irritation. It wouldn't cause or inflict any pain upon you. You wouldn't have to run away from it and shut it down. Because all that's doing is pushing away the pain that exists within you, within each and every one of us. And when we resist the pain that is within and we avoid our triggers, we live with that pain. Just because it's not present in your everyday life does not mean that it isn't a vibrational frequency that is magnetically drawing in the same similar frequencies into your experience. Now is the time to look within and not deflect upon the outside because the outside is merely your catalyst, reminding you, calling you. Pain stands for pay attention, integrate now. That is not to say that your pain and your anger isn't real or isn't valid. You have every right to feel exactly the way you feel. But you have to understand that we have lived in a society that has tried to make certain things okay and certain things not okay. Certain expressions of a person's truth okay and certain expressions of a person's truth not okay. We are at a pivotal point in history and if you are here in a physical embodiment you are here to break free from these chains that have shackled humanity. 
and caused us to live in a perpetual state of suffering. Understand that when you see something in someone else and it causes you pain, it is because you have suppressed that aspect within you. And sometimes, a lot of the times, when we are told something that is really amazing about us is not okay in childhood because our parents lacked any other resources to do otherwise, we lock away our gifts. So if you're struggling to find what your passion is, what your life purpose is, understand that by going deep into these triggers, into the darkness, that you will unlock all of those gifts that exist within each and every one of us. If you admire something in another person, but you feel jealous or envious of it, it is only because you are believing a, a false belief that you are not able to do and be whatever it is that you are envious of. And that is simply not true. If you have the ability to witness and recognize it in another human being, then it exists within you. Just because you are not exactly the same as that person doesn't mean that you don't hold a very unique and special puzzle piece. The time is now to remember your divinity, to know that you hold the power to heal your entire DNA lineage with a choice. You are a brave soul who chose to incarnate at a very difficult time on a very dense planet. I understand that we have experienced a lot of pain from connection. And I don't blame anybody for being scared to connect. But that's what we are here for. And if something in someone else caused you pain, it's because you haven't taught them how to do something different. So instead of raging against what it is that you don't like, or what it is that is causing the world pain. Instead, forgive yourself. Find that part within you. No matter how sick and disgusting or how painful it is, the more that you deny that it exists, the more it will continue to elevate. The more we will see the darkest of shadows continue to grow. If we don't find compassion and love and forgiveness for all that is, then we don't leave space for it to manifest into something better, into something lighter, into something of love. Instead of pushing away the outside, find a way to love it. Find a way to show compassion to it. Find a way to f figure out how you can heal it within you because once you heal it within you, that healing has a ripple effect on the collective. You can embody that energy as if you were possessed by it to find what caused it. To find what it is needing to have resolution. And when this new awareness, bring it back into the present moment so that when you see those scary things on the outside, you'll know how to bring light to it. I understand that the collective is healing a very deep-seated mother wound right now. This mother wound comes from all of the pain that the Divine Feminine has experienced 
throughout the course of history. Find a way to pop out of your own pain so that you can see both perspectives clearly. Because when we are trapped inside of our pain, we can't see in front of our own feet. And that not only leaves us alone in our pain, but it pushes everything away from you that could bring you healing and resolution that you have desired and needed for your entire life. When something isn't working, when a conflict arises, instead of staying grounded and stubborn in your own ways, instead, find a different approach. A lot of the times, a door is locked and we keep banging our head against it trying to get it to open, leaving ourselves bloody and lifeless, laying on a floor, thinking that we are powerless to change or to get it to open, when really, there's 50 other doors that are wide open in that same room. We just need to choose a different path, a different approach. I know in my own experience that I held on to the painful experiences as a badge of honor. I felt that it kept me safe. But then I heard the voice of someone that gave me another option said I don't have to carry that anymore. That doesn't have to be my identity. Just because I've experienced pain doesn't mean that I have to keep the world away in order to not experience it in the future. Because when you're trapped, alone, in that room, all by yourself, you're already hurting. Sometimes we have to hit rock bottom before we have the courage to try something different, to try any other way. If pain doesn't come to force us in a new direction, sometimes we will continue to beat our head up against a wall and not realize that there is other solutions. I want you all to know how incredibly amazing and special you all are and how much love and compassion and gratitude that I have for each and every one of you. Know that you don't have to do this alone. Know that it doesn't have to be this way any longer. Know that you have the ability to make a conscious choice to do otherwise. That it's okay. That is, it takes so much courage to admit to where you are and ask for help. And I commend you for having the courage to do so. But I don't judge you if you choose to do it alone. Know that the help and support is out there if you choose to take it. And feel free to reach out to me anytime, night or day. I'm here for each and every one of you. You can email me at info at KendraDivinePurposeMentor.com or you can visit my website, KendraDivinePurposeMentor.com or connect with me on social media. I can help support and guide you. Know that I'm here. Know that you are worth it. The time is now. 
If this message resonated with you, please share it out. Help others have access to support. Because we all know how incredibly painful it is to be in pain and being alone in that pain and feel powerless to change it. I love you all. Have a good day.